Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory, first stream of 2024. And we're starting a new game. This is the Talos Principle 2. It's released back in November 2023. Can't believe that's uh, already two months ago. Um, I played the first Talos Principle way back in 2016. And then I played the, the DLC for it, uh, Road to Gehenna, in 2020. And now we're playing number two here <laughs> in 2024. So a pretty... You know, well, even split of four years between each iteration. Um, this already looks extremely much better than the previous one. Of course, the the first iteration when I played it was back on my extremely old potato machine um, that was built in 2010. And then when we played the DLC, I had my new 2017 build. Um, but here we go. I had to dial this down a little bit to make it run okay. So hopefully it, it looks fine. I, I think it'll look fine. Um, also, because this is first stream of said new game, um, let's take a quick spin through audio. Uh, make sure subtitles are on, make sure the balance is okay. Uh, where the heck is the... Okay, subtitles are on. Um, and they should be relatively visible. And all the sound should be good. Uh, you know what, let's just fucking, let's get started. I'm excited to do some puzzles. Because that's what the Talos Principle 2 is all about. It's not about philosophy or anything like that, it's about puzzles. Hey, Omega Weapon. Hey, Firetron. How you doing? Good to see you both. Uh, okay, so what did we what do we remember from Tales Principle One here? We're a robot, right? We were in some sort of you know weird ass computer machine thing, and we were trying to escape or whatever, and we discovered that humanity was dead, and we're all robots. I think that's what I remember. I mean, spoilers, obviously, if uh, you haven't played Tales Principle One, but. No, I hope the text is supposed to look like that. <laughs> I think it. I think it is supposed to look like that. Um, that looks all kind of computery, right? Ah, shit. Oh, very pretty. I mean, aside from the obvious vision issues, since we're waking up. Yeah, see, look at it. Look at our little robot legs. Oh man. Oh, this, this looks very pretty, despite having to turn it down to like medium on a bunch of stuff. Oh no! Wait. Oh crap! You walk in my garden. What do you mean? No, we escaped from you. Voice and know that I no, you that's friend. bullshit. You ain't my friend. And I am called Elohim. Uh, fuck you, Elohim. You ain't my friend. Uh, no, we we remember. We remember Elohim. He was not a friend. Oh, whatever. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. Okay, all right, all right. So let's let's you know, Elohim being a. A big old shitter aside, let's see what we got. We can look around, we can obviously you know, move, sprint. Okay, that's you know, pretty much the same. Can we jump? We can jump. Okay. Oh, we have an actual shadow. Look at that. Oh, yeah, it's pretty clear we're a robot. Very, very slender robot. Okay, well, here we are. We have, uh... I thought we were supposed to have woken up in the real world or whatever. Definitely not this... These ruins, whatever. All right, fuck, fuck it. Let's go. Let's, let's move forward. See what we can see. See how much we remember. Um, okay, yep. Can't go through that yet. That's fine. Uh, it's very pretty. Clouds look great. Hmm. Jammer. Oh yeah, we get to jam shit. I mean, yes, we jam these things, right? Oh yeah, I remember now. Okay, we did it. First puzzle saw. <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh, oh, I thought I saw something glitch out a little bit there. Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's intended. Oh, we got boxes and shit too. Oh, they got names now. They're hexahedron. Were they called hexahedrons in Talos Principle One? I feel like they weren't. Now they got fancy names. All right, let's pick it up. You just wait or place another object on top, and we can jump on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Put it on a button. Yep. All right. That, oh, they out, that was definitely a little, a little glitchy there, by design. Cool, two puzzles down, making great progress. Oh, we got, ah, oh, shit, I wanna go out. Krusty wants out! Oh, can't get out there, okay. It's very detailed. I mean, I, I, I guess this better be detailed, right? For 70 gigs of whatever, Jeez. Wild. Only a little while, huh? You will awaken in a new world. I was expecting to but awaken in a new world right away. Undertake the trials of initiation. They will help.
stoutly prepare your vessel. Oh yeah, I'm sure they will. Meaning like, oops, I woke up too soon. You were like, oh shit, I gotta do something for this guy. Uh, what do I do? Oh yeah, let's make him do some trials so I got some time to... Whatever. Fucking Elohim. Asleep at the wheel, as always. Okay. All right, the sigils. Right, we get to play Tetris, sort of. But we need the, the Tetris pieces first. We need the... What are they called? The Tetrominoes. Which we probably can't say because it's like a trademarked word or something, but whatever. Wow, I don't even want us to have a lot of tetrominoes. I'm sorry, a lot of sigils before we can do do anything here. Alright, fine. That's okay. Fine, fine, fine. We'll, we'll get the sigils. As long as we get to do some puzzles, that's what we're here for. Okay, oh yeah, look at that. Alright. Hmm. Well, that's a bit obvious, huh? Alright. <clears throat> Quick sec, barely hear myself here. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Okay. All right. Well, boxes and buttons and a little ledge up there. Boy, that's a that's a tough one, huh? You may linger in my garden for as long as you wish. What if I don't want to linger, but though? But remember, my child, that the new world awaits you. And this place is only a dream. Well, fucking let me wake up already then, because I'm already not getting good vibes off of old Elohim here. Cool. Wait, we got a sigil. Well done, my child. Aw, oh, don't patronize me, Elohim, you piece of shit. That was that was hardly worth a well done. Jerk ass. Alright, next. Space Tales to Toronto's into public domain like C-rated horror. <laughs> I mean, you could do that right now, you just can't call them Tetrominoes. <laughs> okay, um, more, more boxes, more boxes. And well, we've got a very obvious uh, ledge right there. Oh, I see, okay. Roop! Roop! Uh... Can I, um, just kind of... I can't with my robot arms just huck this over the thing? Feel like I should be, and these things block the things, right? Oh yeah, well, can't take it through there. All right, fine. Whatever, man. Cannot do. I'll oh, see there. I could just. So wait a minute. I can reach my robot arms over the fence and pick it up, but I can't just give it a little, a little free throw there. That's some bullshit. I want a refund on this robot body we're inhabiting. Alright, well there you go. If he if he tosses another well done my child our way, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. I suppose we should keep our head on a swivel here and look around for secrety secrets. As I recall, there were plenty of secrety secrets in uh, Talus Principle 1, so... We'll keep an eye out. Uh, probably not in any in this uh, first area. This is just like basic bitch learn how to play just in case you forgot everything since four years ago. Alright, within reach, you say. Okay. We'll see about that. Oh, yeah, hey, look at that, within reach. Oh, yeah, can I. Okay, so I can lean my robot body down and pick it up. Yeah, alright, whatever. <laughs> okay, got it. Got it. Hey, we did it. We got all three of the green the sigils. Are collecting are not mere toys. Yeah, I know, they're tetrominoes. They we've, we've been over this. Of the process by which our people were created. Oh, really? Rear. People created in shapes composed of four squares? Because that's what I'm getting out of this. Alright, but we got all the green sigils, so we can go unlock the green door. After we do, you know, this. Hey, look at that, we did it. Honestly, probably could have used my robot body to just uh, bust through the door there, but no, just gotta play by the rules. Alright. Windy day. Oh no, they're gonna have wind and shit here too now? Uh, okay. Alright. 
All oh, right, it's, it's what the oh ha right we put the fan on it and then that's it okay and then we can you know do this trade out for that put that on grab this now we can do that and do that hey look at that we're learning I think well jump there yeah very very good what a patronizing son of a bitch <laughs> very very good that was it was within sight oh man man elohim is gonna drive me up a wall isn't he I feel like he's just gonna be nothing but good job and i'll be like fuck you man all right static pressure got it yeah grab all those And a box on there. Yep, yep, yep. Seems. Oh, all oh, right. Except. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we do this first, right? Put the box on there. Jump on that box. And then we can jump across. Yeah. All right. Yep. It's like uh, riding a very puzzly bicycle. You never forget, really. Um, okay. It's those two. slit experiment. Oh, I bet there's some, like, clever-ass hints to the puzzles, right? In the in just the names. I don't think it's gonna matter. It's not gonna matter for now. <laughs> Sound close to his woody as GLaDOS, right? At least GLaDOS had some fucking personality. This guy just sounds like, oh yeah, way, way to go, you're doing it, champ. I'm like, fuck you, man. Oh, we got lasers, too. I do like lasers. Oh, I see. I see, okay. Alright, well, I need that box. So, bonk. And what did that do? Aha! Uh -huh. That, uh, turn that on. Oh, we gotta move the box over here for us. Right, 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 right. Okay. And then I need to block the laser, right? And now we can go back out. And get through there, because that's off. And, oh, yeah, there we go. No? Nothing, Elohim? No, no good job? No way to go, sport? Uh, inconsistent. Inconsistent with his patronizing ass praise. Oh, we'll glitch you there. Alright, we're still contraption. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Now, uh, wonk. Uh, uh, well, we can jam that, right? And that opens that. And then, oh, I, I see what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to do, like, yeah, and then jam. No, I want to jam the fan behind this thing. Can I not do that? Okay, whatever. Okay. I'm supposed to get another additional thing here. An order of operations thing, isn't it? Oh, I see. Yeah, duh. Lay down that one. Block that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, an additional jammer. Which we're probably supposed to do, like... Oh, we can't do that from here, though, can we? Oh, we can do that, though. So then we can pick this one up. We're not blocked by a little weird purple field or whatever. Block that. Oh, yeah, hey, look at that. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, thanks, Elohim. Really boosting my uh, self-esteem with those fucking side-eye compliments there. But we did it. Okay. Oh, we should probably be paying attention to these signs, too, because some of them, at least I remember from Talos Principle 1, some of them had the, like, the little stars on them or something, and there was extra shit. Um, maybe not in this first area. Maybe we don't worry about that till later, because it seems like... This seems pretty basic, bitch. Like, here, do these first three things, and then you'll get to the real good stuff later. Progression and all that. Uh, okay, so that was the that was the yellows, yeah. Oh no, we need the reds for that one. This must be the yellows. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Do 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 do. 
There we go. I am proud of all. Oh, yeah, that's what every parent says, though. They have built a new Jerusalem. Uh huh. New Jerusalem. Your brothers and sisters await you. Oh, really? Well, why can't I? Can't I go there right now? Why do I have to do, like, baby's first puzzles here? Alright, whatever. Let's do this one first. Ascension awaits. Oh, I bet we're gonna use the fan to go up in the air or something. Probably to block this laser? Or... Oh no, we get a little... Yeah, I, I see. Yeah. So this is the little, the little link laser thing, right? And we put it right there. And we turn this on. Or... Oh. Oh no, right, we gotta put the, uh, put the block there first. That needs to go on something, right? That, that, bonk, and bonk. Hey, look at that, we did it. Oh, I guess we're doing these ones in reverse, that's fine. I do like the laser puzzles, though. Like, those were probably my favorite. Out of all the Talos Principle 1 Dillabops. So more lasers, more better. Colors, two doors. Okay, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, okay. And there's the other color, the blue laser. And a box. And okay, yeah, another uh yeah, I see. Yep. Because they the lasers can't cross, right? That was the deal. So this needs to be elevated probably by that box there. That we can do like this. Let me just go out here and let me grab the box. Grab the box first so we can put it down like right here. And we do honk, bonk, and then bonk. Yeah, see, so like that. Good use of the third dimension. All right, yep, yeah, that I remember pretty well from uh, good old TP1. Yeah, destructive interference. All right, so this one they want us to intentionally bl probably block the lasers with each other, right? Or maybe this is where we would initially learn that the lasers can block each other. I imagine, right? It's also a pos possibility. Now. Uh, I do need that second one though. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, but I think for now I just need to uh, get that second one, right? There we go. Okay. Now, is this even gonna matter? I guess it is gonna matter, because now I'll need to kind of whip this around a little bit. That's what the second one's for. Do bonk, 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 and then just kind of do bonk, 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 and then, oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, we can just do this in one. Now you need the second one for the blue. Think, right? Just do that. This to get this sucker around here, right? Bonk. 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 There we go. Easy. Easy shit. Oh, I figured he would have chimed in by now. We did three of the the advanced ones. And he's like, nah, nah, I'm not gonna tell you you're doing a good job. What an ass. Okay. Those two are left. Very good. Prismatic diffraction, huh? Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. That's all the way up there. Oh, that's one of those immovable ones, though. That's blue. I need a blue one. Uh, can we do all this in one go here? Be a hell of an angle. I think we can do it, though. Blip. Blip. Blip blip and like right here 
Yeah, easy peasy. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this seems like way larger an area than we need for this. Any secrets? Nah, probably not yet. Take a look around just in case, though. You never know. Okay, well, that's that one, I guess. Alright. Uh, where did we get in here? Oh, there. Okay. And last one. Fundamental connections. Alright, this is probably the one we should have done first, right? Is the... The baby's first laser. Probably. Yeah, okay. All about spatial reasoning. Do you like me some spatial reasoning? There we go. There's all five. Now, Elohim, you want to fucking chime in? There we go. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah? You finished preparing it in 20 minutes? Hell of a vessel. Uh-huh. Things that I in my garden could never have imagined. Yeah, sure. In that world, you will have to be careful and smart and curious. Mm, okay, well, two out of three ain't bad. Well, that's not happening. We're robots. It can't be human. Isn't that like the defining, one of the defining things? <laughs> like, hey, we can't be something we're not? Eh, whatever. Okay. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Where, where'd we get in here? Over here? No, that's a, that's a puzzle. I need a door out of here. All right, we gotta find the big sign that was pointing in here, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, we also could have gone out that way. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Let's see what kind of vessel Elohim cooked up for us. I'm not expecting much. I'm gonna set my uh, expectations to low. Is that, oh, hey, QR codes and Don't shit. Don't be afraid of these dream figures and their messages. Uh-huh. They are merely aspects of yourself. Right. As am I, after a fashion. Now, I'm curious. I'm going to pull a dumb nerd thing, and I'm, I'm actually going to scan this QR code, which is probably a bad idea, but I want to see if that's what it actually says. Just out of curiosity, you know? Because if so, that's fine. Whatever happens, we're in it together. Lilith. Yep, that's right. Cool. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I like that. Alright, well. See you in hell, dream world. Okay, so Elohim's still here. He's still a shit. The more things change, the more things stay the same, etc. But, uh, you yeah, know, whatever. That's how it'd be. Whoa, whoa, boy. Okay, this is looking a little fancier now. Ah, you're awake. Oh, I am. Hello, uh, to the world of the living. uh, thanks? Are we living, though? We're robots. I... You know what? I'll play this straight. I'll be friendly. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Oh, you're polite. Uh, sure. A rare combination of traits. I mean... If only the algorithm produced more people like you. Uh, oh, people. I'm confusing you. Yes, you are. Don't worry. Everyone is confused at first. You see, we all start out without a full knowledge of our own history. Uh... So we have the freedom to form our own opinions. Okay, that's a very human thing, right? <laughs> wow, thanks for the choice, game. Uh, I could really use some pointers. Of course. You want the short version or the long version? Ah, uh, fucking. <laughs> I have to know everything in excruciating amounts of detail. Um, yeah, it's long version. Long version, please. So, a long time ago, uh -huh. our ancestors dominated this planet. Okay. 
We call ourselves humans like they did, but they were organic. Okay. They built an advanced technological civilization. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, their impact on ah, the see. changes. There's the always hubris. Hubris is always involved. Contagious virus was released from the permafrost. Ooh, that door. Oh. Didn't they have advanced medicine though? That's something our historians still debate. Apparently not if they're Why all gone. They invest so many resources into making war. Yeah. And so few into useful resources. Jeez. But no matter the reason, in the end, they simply ran out of time. Oh boy. Oh, oh. So how the fuck are we here? A team led by a scientist called Alexandra. Alexandra, yeah. Okay. Was intended to create well, us. All right, well, she but succeeded. There wasn't enough time. Drennan initiated a process. Uh-huh. A series of iterations inside a simulation. Okay. That would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. Okay. It, it, well, clearly, and it worked, right? It did. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. Okay. We call her the founder. Oh. Although the name she took was Athena. Yeah, okay. You she know, then historical importance, Marvus, right? Using the tools left behind by Drennan's team. Eventually, they started building the city of New Jerusalem. Couldn't come up with a new name for that, huh? Before the founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. Uh huh. We call it the goal. Wow. Okay. G and all. Wow. Yeah. No, I got the capital from the subtitle thing. New humans. One thousand. So complete New Jerusalem. That's a lot of humans. It was difficult, especially after she. I mean, it's not us. very many humans, but, but after you know, whatever. Or so, we finally succeeded. Okay. And that's you. Uh, Your number yeah. one cool. Do I win a prize? Am I the thousandth visitor in New Jerusalem? Can I click the banner ad and, and claim my little Guga or whatever? It covers the basics. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. All right. When you're done. Head outside. They're waiting for you. Okay. Well, Your uh, birth is quite the event. Uh, sure. Well, cool. No fucking pressure at all, I guess. Um. I. What about you? Like, we, you never actually told us your name, but I was reading the subtitles and it's Naith or Neith or whatever. Tell me about yourself. Me? Yeah. You. Well, as you can tell by my number, I'm quite old. I wasn't one of the first sure. companions, but I did know Athena personally. Oh, okay. She and Cornelius taught me a lot. Cornelius, that's Although another I fine name. I've made a few improvements here and there since those days. If you say so. We didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. Okay. Um, I, will there be more new humans? You've only just been born, and already you step right into a major controversy. Oh, sorry, I the guess. Goal, as most people is just to get a thousand and that's it, right? The moment you were born. Oh, so I've, like, ruined now, everybody's purpose, huh? Is complete, and we can live in balance. Uh-huh. Without damaging the world like our ancestors <laughs> did. <laughs> You see, That's the orthodox view, I suppose. you say that, but right? There are many who disagree. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You'll have to figure out where you stand. For By the way, yourself. am I capturing my cursor on this? I am. Okay, good. Just want to make sure. Uh, what happened to Athena there? No one really knows. Oh, okay. At first, she was closely involved with everything that happened in the city. But then she got but tired she, and she became just, like fucked off for a while. And one day, she simply vanished. All right. Well, you're right. You're right. It was centuries ago. Hmm. All right. Who the hell is this shithead Elohim? He was the caretaker of the simulation that created the founder. Okay. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us. Ah. Uh, you will hear him whenever you enter sleep. Mode. Oh, good. Can't wait. About, really. Oh yeah. Well, that's what you say when it's something to worry about. Uh, all right. Am I immortal? He won't age like our ancestors did. Okay, that doesn't answer the question. Course, there is always some wear and tear. All right, but we're robots; we can you repair. We schedule a checkup every decade. Every decade, so. shit. Oh, That's rad. Be a bit careful with water. Ah, oh, come on. Don't die if it rains or anything. Okay. But we're running low on insulation material. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. Oh, but I like swimming. All right. Well, what are you gonna do now that you're? I didn't say that her job was obsolete. We're just kind of making an assumption there. But hey, what's gonna happen? I, I haven't 
really thought about it. Well, you better start thinking. This is all I've done for the last few centuries. Well, don't let your work define you. I like doing it. Okay, well, it's fine, but... Now I'll just take a break and we'll see what happens. You know, take up knitting, bocce ball, maybe program software. You know, do something fun. I'm ready to go, I guess. Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem. Oh, there are a couple of rules, right? To the oh no, okay. Which you can use to read the news, of course. chat to your fellow citizens, and okay. so on. Okay. It's a crucial tool. Is it though? And modular too. You can easily add new functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. <sighs> okay. Oh, we've got a PDA. They call them PDAs and whatever advanced year this is, huh? Okay, following rules. Treat everything with respect, regardless of number. Cool. Don't take the founder's name in vain. Okay, sure. Back the principles of the goal. Well, the goal's already been reached, supposedly, right? Uh, the Our Frogs people discussion is now banned. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no, this is too human. Uh, inactive threads will be archived. Okay, it's good to keep things clean, I suppose. If you have any issues, please ping the moderators. Jeremy, Nimuk, and Aranax. Okay. Cool, I guess. Oh, that was quote-unquote social media, huh? All right. Jeez. Well, it's already off to a cracking start. Uh, whoa, jeez. Oh, this is all the shit we just talked about. You know what? That's good. I'ma forget probably all of this. So it's good to have it in handy, uh, uh, written form, you know? All right. We did it. Oh, oh shit, that was just the, the announcement post. And the hard work and faith of the founders has finally paid off. At long last, the gold standard so much finally there is. That's when will be born. Mm, beautiful city, finally be complete. Space is damn limited. Tickets tickets will be available via lottery system. Celebration will also be streamed. Well, that's nice. That's very forward thinking of them. Not everybody wants to be around everybody else at a, what sounds to be like a pretty raucous party. You know, a thousand human not humans. All right, well, let's see what we're up against here. Future tech. Some future tech that looks like existing tech. Big old robo MRI. All right, can we run? No, walking only. Institute for Applied Pneumatics. Facility, okay. Call an electrician about that. It was sparking. Got locked doors. Oh, let's reconstruct. Oh, I see. So we got a little, <clears throat> a little symbolic language going on. Reconstruction of the chamber. The first companion of the first companions rested until the founder awoke them. The original chamber is disassembled in the early days of New Jerusalem. Oh, was is that what we were in Tales Principle One? We were one of the what? What are they called already? First companions, maybe. Okay. Well, that's neat. Man, even in the future, shit's locked. Okay. Uh, okay. Museum type stuff, I guess, right? What's sparking going on? Really inefficient energy transfer. Whoa, shit. Oh, that's bright. I guess we also get cutscenes. Hi. Thanks. Got a name, but, you know, 1K is fine too, I guess. Shouldn't the mayor be starting his speech? Who's the mayor? Oh, that guy probably, huh? This should be interesting. Should it, though? At least give him a chance. Dear citizens we got a of New Jerusalem. Critical case of same face going on around here. Herman Nubis! Damn, that's kind of a sick name. Why do I get called 1K and this guy gets Herman Nubis? Haha, <laughs> hubris, there we go. Yep. Hubris will do that to you. Uh-huh. The founder 
came to set us on a new Look, course. dude, you're telling me my own history. Really? Eh, yeah, that guy's right, though. A city, uh huh. A new civilization that would know its limits. Uh huh. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, uh -huh. nor impose its will on this earth. To that end, okay. she set the great goal we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans. Okay. And today we have. Oh dear. Oh shit. What's what is that actually? That looks not great. Oh fuck! It's Elohim back for revenge. Oh no, it's Prometheus. Hey, Prometheus. Hello. Uh huh. The flame has awoken and summons you. Who is brave enough to answer its call? Wow. You upon our island where... Whoa. Oh shit, Prometheus chained. Ah, Pandora. Chain me again. That was very... Kind of a flat delivery with for something that should have been probably more important. Oh, and then smash cut to, to title text, huh? Okay. Alright, well that's a fine how do you do, huh? Well, it's still pretty pretty, huh? Well, can I, uh... I told you we should have investigated those energy readings. Okay, and I well, told at least him for... there's something up yeah. with those structures. The mayor's just being cautious. Is he, though? This isn't caution, it's stagnation. A oh, good point, Byron. I don't know how I know your name, it's just subtitles. Dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation, I call it balance. And I called you an idiot. All right, fair. Here's a thought. Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. See what I'm working with here, 1K? No. What? I'm going to need a fresh what? pair We're of on first name basis experience. already? Byron, who chill. Hasn't spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. Okay. If you're up for an adventure. I am. That's why I'm here. Just at the conference well, room. And for puzzles. Okay, conference room. Got it. Thanks, Byron. Whoa. Okay, something just loading in here as we're along this tram of sorts, yeah. Oh, oh. Boy, they got a lot of this dome to finish building. It's a big old gap in those windows. Looks pretty, though. Very clean. Pleasant. And they got pretty killer tram music, too. Like, this isn't the standard, you know, B-grade elevator music. I hope we'll make it to Black Mesa on time, though. Don't want to be late. Oh, we're here. Good. Attend briefing. Oh, what if I don't want to attend briefing? Oh. Oh, they... they wow, they got off and booked it real quick out of there. Alright, uh... Josephus, how, how... How are you doing? Can I interact with you? No? Refuses to be interacted with. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. Whoa. What's broken now? Uh, the lights looks like. Okay, well, they fix themselves right quick. Can I uh, go that way instead? I want to go that way. Slip between there? No. Okay, fine. So I, all right, att it said attend briefing. What's what's the, what's the deal? No, not checkpoints. Is there like some other? Oh, whoa, whoa! I can go third person. Hot damn! Look at that. That's pretty neat. Let's go. Let's keep first person for now, though. Whoa. All right. Oh, hey, look at that. Listen up. Whoa, 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 I hey. you're all having fun down there. Wh wh who? The grid is overloaded again, yeah. so maybe you could switch off your personal consoles or your lawn mowers 
or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on oh the sure uh-huh blame the consumers right you for a while and you don't want stuff breaking while pellegrino's in charge yeah do you? all right well that's a very that's human it. thing to be like that's yeah it. don't worry Wonky. blame the fucking people the just trying to go about their day oh maybe you should recycle more maybe you shouldn't use so much plastic it's up to personal responsibility to fix this fucking shithole of a planet we find ourselves in Hell is a yeah, whatever, man. These bloody language libraries. Well, game in third person concerns is making you dizzy. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's fair. That's fair. If it gets to be too much while I'm playing first person, you know, let me know. I'm I'm okay with switching to third person, but I wanna I wanna look around a little bit, get a feel for it, you know. Oh boy. Okay, so you know, I was bitching over that whole speech about you know it's turning off your shit when you're not using it, I guess. I think that's what uh, Melville was angling towards there. Which, you know, fair enough, but even still. You know, don't blame the people using this stuff for, uh, you know, an inability for infrastructure to keep up. That's kind of not their responsibility. Weird. Alright. Oh, whoa, jeez, whoa! Hold on there. Oh, man. Newbie, you? you got the bad Number pick of the names 1, there. <laughs> I figured the dam would go dry before we reached the goal. And also you got... I have a question. Kind of creepy eyes. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomized psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines, which so much resemble their long extinct ancestors, they've decided it's best that you're the last one ever made? Well, I don't know about randomized psyche. Um, and yeah, also 666, very clever, very not subtle. Um,. Sorry, what was the question? What do I think about the randomized psyche, whatever, I'm the last and best, or whatever? Um... <laughs> beep, boop, I am robot. I do not do not believe in feelings. No, it makes me feel something, whatever. Oh, ha! Ah! Um... I guess curious, right? Curious seems the most accurate for me. What, what do you mean, why? I think we were playing 20 questions here. Um... <laughs> I don't know where this quote's come from, but because life has found a way. Oh, the great Jeff Goldblum. I'm glad he gets a nod here. Uh, I don't see a way to explain it. Last of Us. Oh, well, it's all things because I'm lucky to be here to see this. Oh, we're going to grow today. We're more sure to seeing tomorrow. Look around. It's a robot city. What's there not to like? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, look around. It's a robot city. So the algorithm assigned you the optimism trait. I. If only we could all be so lucky. I mean, I've existed for like now, listen, forty minutes. This meeting isn't strictly happenstance. Okay. I have some friends. Yeah. Okay. The kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. Uh huh. They think you can help each other out. I see. Do we already have a robot mafia going on here? Because I feel like this is the start of a robot mafia. But yeah, I'll meet those people. Of course you are. You know how to use the interface, right? Yeah, press tab. I'll talk to my friends and see if I can't play matchmaker. And before you go, a word of advice. Uh huh. Thanks. Not everything around here is how it appears. Didn't ask for advice, but here you are handing it out. Thanks, I guess. Free advice. Not everything is. What? What was the advice? Not everything is as it appears? Yeah, well, it's good advice. Very generic, thanks. That's pretty. Oh, that actually looks pretty sick. Hmm. Alright. Do please join us at the table. Wow, your voice carries pretty well. I'm like a good solid 30 meters away from you, and it sounds like you were right next to me. Their vocal processors are pretty good, huh? I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen sooner or later, and you didn't listen to this. <laughs> and here we are. So you'd like to start the meeting with an I told you so. Thanks. Hand, Thanks, Byron. The issue at hand is not this one thing, but this entire attitude that's taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. What? Or under a dome, as it were. Okay, I mean, fair enough. Alright, so Byron, Alcatraz, Hermanubis, who's the one in green there? Um... Yeah, can, can we fill me in? Let's go, what's up? Yes, thank you. Look, I was just born 40 minutes ago. What the fuck? 
is the last thing you were looking for on your first day. No, I kind of want adventure. Adventure sounds good. This is fascinating. Let's go. See? A fresh mind is open to the possibilities. Jakut, I think it's time for the briefing. <laughs> random. Right, million random theories to say I told you so. I mean, you know, right? Yeah, Yakut? Uh, sorry, I was talking over that, but Yakut? Okay. During a scouting expedition about six months ago. Okay. It's a large island with a remarkably varied geography. Okay. It looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. Aliens. We recorded extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island, but couldn't really make sense of them. Okay. I wanted to go and have a closer look. Well, why didn't you? The decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Well, you let the now goal control like you? The on that island has reached out to us instead. Okay, cool. In the form of that projection. Prometheus. We may not be interested okay. in the island, but the island is definitely Oh, the island. Us. Oh, wait. It, wait, but was that Byron? Byron's the one in red, right? He's fucking number seven. Holy shit. He's an oldie. Um, sorry, what was the question? Uh, there wasn't a question, right? But it does sound like it's worth investigating. I don't share your enthusiasm for the unexpected. Well, that's but tough. Ivan has been requesting an expedition for some time now. Okay. And at this point, I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. Uh, that's very accommodating of you, I Herman Ubus. Alcatraz is cool settled. with it. The expedition is approved. All right. Byron, you will be in charge. Uh, wait a minute. Will be your second in command to ensure a balance. Hell. No, 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 no. Alcatraz, no don't shorten that shit. As you requested, and if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. So wait, I don't get an actual name. They're just going to be fucking calling me 1K all the time? I'm in, clearly, but Excellent. Oh, this is going to be fun. Come meet us out on the landing pad when you're ready. All right. Before you set out wait, 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 wait. so hastily, two six four seven seven sixty four four five two two. Is your kinda... home after all? Is it though? That's like I idea. just got here. Have a look around. See what you make of the place. All right. Sure. Okay. So I'm getting the feeling that the gold ones are like the story progression ones, and then the, the silver ones are like side bits. Which, you know what? We're here. We're gonna do a, a little bit of looking around. See if everything's on the level. Probably isn't, according to Doge. <laughs> good gravy. Picked a good name for that idiot. Alright, um... Yeah, let's look around. Fuck it. Need to set out an adventure? I mean, we got nothing but time. We're robots! We're immortal, sort of. Just every decade or so, right? Just gotta get a little checkup. It's fine. Let's look around. Attention all citizens. Uh. Due to the new power management and distribution plan, there will be scheduled outages on Jameson Avenue and Rakovsky Plaza. He fucking... The Gehenna Memorial Pavilion will remain closed for the time being. I see. All right. Thank you. So even and in the... Founder be with you. Even in the future, they've got fucking rolling blackouts? What the hell? You know, you'd think power would be a pretty good thing to solve. I suppose there's only a thousand of us, so, like, they don't have a lot of... What in the... Uh, what's going on over here? Hey, what's up? Damien? Mariana? Hello, 1K. Welcome to New Jerusalem. Thanks. I know you've just had a big moment with the apparition at the dam and all that, uh, but... It, sure. Can I have a second of your time? I mean, I'm standing here. I engaged. Yes. Please. I'm collecting signatures to call for a public referendum on the city's energy crisis. Okay. I mean, what's the issue besides the rolling blackouts, it sounds like? Currently, the city runs on hydroelectric power from the dam, plus a handful okay. of geriatric generators and some unreliable solar panels, none of which is enough to even cover our basic whoa, needs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fails, we'll be on the brink of extinction in a matter of days. I mean, probably true since we're robots and we run on presumably electricity. Um, what's the problem with the solar panels? Hold on. Hold up a second. I want to ask a clarifying question here. I already forget your name. 903? Hey, what, what's up? What do you propose? We need to investigate new sources of reliable baseline power. Okay. We need to invest time and resources into functional, real-world solutions that serve human needs. Okay. okay. Um... 
I feel like I already know the answer to this, but why a referendum and not an election? Oh, an election would be good too, but... But? I believe that we need more direct democratic control over the affairs of the city. Uh, okay, that's fair. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, do you work at the dam? No, nope, I help run the public transit system. Okay. But I witness the impact of the city's power problems. Yeah, probably. I would. That would we I can't can understand just push that. Them away. Yeah, I get it. Um, what do you think about weirdo Prometheus thing? Byron's been advocating fucking that big old energy time. MacGuffin thing, no, right? He's right. Something very strange is going on there, and it's going to start affecting us. I you could argue that it already is. I mean, what, what do you know about him? <clears throat> In all honesty, I think Byron is the smartest... All right, all right, let's not suck his robo-dick too hard here, Damien. And I don't understand why he won't run for mayor. Okay, I didn't ask for a fucking Yelp review of Byron. I wanted to know about him, but all right. Um, but you know what? Your referendum sounds pretty reasonable. Yeah, here you go, buddy. Thanks, 1K. I don't know if this petition will really accomplish anything by itself, but at this point, I'm willing to try anything. All right, well, good luck with that. I mean, at least you're trying something, right? That's a good... good. You know, Damien, you're all right. All right, man. Okay, let's have a look around. Shit, they got guitars in the future still, too? Pretty good. Good stuff. Folks walking around that don't want to talk to me. That's very welcoming of them. Oh, what did uh, what, what did Neath or Neath Neath say about swimming? Go do it, right? Oh, well, it's like fucking yeah, just barely fucking shin deep water. All right, so we're not swimming in this. Can we crouch. Can't crouch, but oh boy, that's a low ceiling. Oh, oh, now we are granted the ability to run. Okay, that's good. A lot of ground to cover. Happy completion day. Uh, thanks? Thanks. Thanks, I guess. All right, what do we got here? There's the New Jerusalem Gazebo. Memorial Pavilion. Well, they said the pavilion was closed. Uh, no, let's investigate. Oh, yeah, looks like shit's locked. Exhibition 312. Where are the first 311? Postponed in accordance to the new power management distribution plan. You know, ain't nobody looking this way. I could hop this fence. Oh, I totally could, but they're not letting me because it's an invisible wall. Bullshit. Ah, uh, nuts. That would have been fun if they let me get in there. Okay, same deal, different, different direction. Yeah. Okay. Actually, read some of these. Oh, so remember the goal. Perfection is unchanging. That seems like bullshit. I don't know. That's a, that's a bad slogan. Can we, uh... Can we do a little robo graffiti here and say no? That's BS. It's unchanging my ass. Okay. Hi. Uh, hi. Very friendly. Hell is serious. Four, four, four. Okay. Boy, this seems like a big, wide open space. Are they really. Let me just roam around like this? Be aware, respect the balance. We must all know our place. Oh shit. What kind of proto fascist bullshit is that? Excuse me, we must all know our place? Oh, something stinks to high hell here. Oh, okay, somebody wants somebody is actually willing to talk to me here. Shoi Shoi Lear? It's you. You're 1K. Yeah, He's yeah. Incarnation of the gold. Man, this is exciting. Whoa, this is more exciting than I thought it would be. How are you? Oh, uh, I feel like it's it. whoa. Do you know where the founder is? No. Do you know who Prometheus yeah, is? No. Can you tell me what to do with my life? No. Also, no. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. One question at a time. Jesus, man. 
Woof. Uh. Sorry, it's just <clears throat> such an honor to meet you, you know. Is it though? Hey, can I have your digital signature? I uh, I have the mayor, Rand, Linux, Kaneda, and all of the first companions. Except Yemo and Sarabai, of course. Uh of course. Um But why do you want my I'm not signing your key, am I? I don't feel like doing that just yet. But like I yeah, you know, whatever. It doesn't hurt to have an ally, I guess. Yes. Yeah, here you go. Thank you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Just one question, I promise. Sure. <laughs> no, I got shit to do, <laughs> even though I came over to engage. No, what's up? I used to make the prefab wall parts that we used to build living quarters. Huh? Got good at it too. But now that the goal is complete, I don't know what to do with myself. So well, I asked the wisest people in town. Doesn't shit the still like need replacing? The city needs most. Okay. Kinda said I should do whatever makes me happy. Okay. I think that's what she meant anyway. Okay. And Cornelius told me I need to figure out who and what I'm invested in. Okay. You're the culmination. Three good pieces of advice, world. honestly. Tell me, what should I do? <sighs> Fucking, I don't know, man. Like. <laughs> That's literally just porn. I shouldn't be offering advice. Um, I fucking damn. All right. Uh, honestly, fucking see to your happiness, man. If you if you can't make yourself happy, like what do you expect otherwise? Thank you for the advice. What you're you? welcome. It means a lot. Uh, sure. Okay. You say so, buddy. Jeez. Wow. High energy, that one. I already forget his name. Schoiler! Schoiler! No, I remember his name. Don't worry. Uh, Gargo asked if I'm a simulation. Uh, Famous historical gargoyles remembered in the ancient phrase Keith David and Goliath. <laughs> Keith David, huh? Okay, I mean, it, you know, three out of four ain't bad. I don't remember seeing a whole bunch of those in the TP1 there. Maybe that maybe that was? Oh, fucking no, it's four years ago. Oh, that's pretty cool. What do we got here? <clears throat> this is never ancient mythology, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. Into it. Oh, yeah. Well, I remember plenty of that. Uh huh. It says, I'm pulled not the violence of nature, speculative regenerative vitality. Under the power of the balance must be protected. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Room of statue found, blah, 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 1453, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's going on? Oh shit, number three? Who does number two work for? Ah, oh, sorry, that is a dumb reference. Alright, yeah, what do you, what do you, no, I wanna engage. Talk, talk, talk. Stay highlighted so I can talk. Greetings. <clears throat> Welcome to the Museum of the Simulation. Huh? My name is Cornelius. It's a pleasure to meet you, 1K. I... I... What? Uh, no, where's the question that asked me, like, what's my actual name? You gotta... Like, 1K cannot be the thing throughout, right? Uh, you're number three. I mean, yes, it's on his chest plate there. Yes. Athena activated myself and Eustathius shortly Stathius. after she was born. Damn. We've a hell of a been name. here almost since the beginning, although we didn't have to pass through the trials of the simulation. Uh huh. She did that for us. Well, you didn't miss much, for buddy. Everyone. I can tell you that. Or no, simulation was different from the initiation we just did, right? Okay. So maybe you missed a bit from the simulation. Uh, what was Athena like? She was human. Wow. What a very good answer to that question. We're all human, buddy. Uh, Human robots, but you know whatever. Why did she leave? That's a <coughs> difficult question. Okay, well, I'll prepare Perhaps a difficult answer. We'll find out. Oh. But until we do, why don't you think about it? What could make the person who started all this want to leave it behind? Yeah. Wow. What a very middle management answer. What do you think? Thanks, buddy. Um. Why did you create the museum? To remind people of where we came from. Okay, history. The Got it. The shaped us, whether we like it or not, and its lessons remain important for our future. Uh -huh. As Santiana said, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Is that 
Is that right? It's Santiana. Is is Santiana a human robot, or is that the actual quote? Ah, eh, whatever. Tell me about the simulation. The simulation was created by Alexandra <clears throat> Drennan and okay. her team at the Institute for Applied Noomatics. Noomat. No it was intended to create Noomatics. a new humanity. Okay. To continue the long journey across time and space that our ancestors began. All right, get you. It succeeded, although it took much longer than they had I mean, anticipated. that's how shit goes, right? Uh, yeah, tell me about the shit bag. I mean, Elohim. Elohim? Elohim. Elohim was the caretaker Elohim. of the simulation, a crude storytelling AI meant to create a continuous narrative out of the building blocks it found. Okay. His role was ultimately to be challenged and... Oh overcome. shit, don't tell Elohim that. As the centuries passed, Elohim became more intelligent than he was intended to be <laughs> and started to fear his own end. <laughs> and more precisely, <laughs> the end of his purpose. And rightfully so, he it sounds like. A world without meaning. Okay. Because of his fear, he tried to sabotage the process Is to that keep right? the simulation going forever. I guess that's right. That's how the, the end, end of TP1 kind of turned into it. Yeah. Him anyway, and he accepted the sacrifice he had to make. Did he? I feel like he didn't. That's right. We all do. Oh, that's not He's creepy. He's part of our operating system now, and as long as we exist, he will always have a purpose. Hmm. I give a little side eye to that. Wait, well, tell me about Milton. Who the fuck is Milton? The MLA or Milton oh, Library right, 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 right. Okay, was yeah, another yeah. simple AI meant to be in charge of the Forgot about that. He too grew beyond his original program. Okay, yeah. Although he ultimately embraced a more cynical view of the world, or a more realistic view, depending on your perspective. A sort of dialectical binary that Athena had to overcome. Okay. I mean, what happened to Milton? Did he finally get his stapler? No one really knows. Oh. Some believe that he was uploaded to the gold disc and that he's the reason we're just as flawed as our ancestors. Oh. Oh. Others well, okay. believe Athena destroyed him. Yeah? And what do you believe? Yes! Okay, yeah, let's get to it. I believe he was uploaded. Okay. I don't know whether it was because Athena chose to upload him or because he was already too entangled with the process not to be uploaded. With the process. Although whatever. Athena okay. and I were very close. Uh -huh. We didn't talk very much about that part of her life. She preferred to focus on the future. Eh, that's not, not, not terrible. Okay. Uh, tell me about the puzzly puzzles. What's up? Puzzles were a key feature of the simulation based on Alexandra Drennan's belief that intelligence is closely related to play. Our puzzles here in the museum are replicas of those in okay. the simulation. And although they are not quite as grand, I do think they are charming in their own way. Oh, really? And how many of those did you uh, replica yourself there, uh, um, Cornelius? <laughs> Who are the archive scholars? Uh, as the name suggests, the archive scholars study the archive, Oops. a repository of all really? ancient human knowledge. Okay. Some of them also study what remains of the simulation, all trying right. to extract more information about the process that created us. All right. Are you their leader? Me? <clears throat> yeah. No. Okay. My brother Eustathius used to occupy that position. Used to. But these days he's retired. Rand is in charge of the archive scholars <laughs> now. You can find That's him a hell in the of a room name. to the left of the next hall. All right, cool. He's an interesting thinker, but I would suggest taking some of his ideas with a grain of salt. <laughs> you don't say. Okay, what was Gehenna? Gehenna was a community created inside a prison in the simulation, where Elohim would exile right? those minds he considered a threat to the process. I don't remember so well in that bit of it, but of okay. The simulation, he repented of his sins and had the prisoners freed. To become part of the gold disc. I see. Some small part of them may survive inside you. Yeah, honestly, I have very little memory of the of the DLC. But that sounds right, I guess. Okay, uh, good chat, Cornelius. Good chat. So what do we have here? These generations are kinds of processing. Only processing. No emotion, no character, just math. As far as coming, blah, blah, blah. blah. <clears throat> Okay. Oh shit! I actually kind of remember Mr. Mc Mr. 
I added a Mick in there for some reason. Mr. Mulciber. That name sounds familiar. Okay. Uh, what did he say? Hallway to the left or something, right? What we got here? Peter Terminal from the simulation. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. Okay, that looks familiar. It's a box. Or hexahedron, whatever. Fresh plate skill walls elevate connectors in a variety of other ways. Yeah, it's a box. You can do a lot of things with a box. Julian, hello. Mind if I, uh, if I cut in and read this sign? Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> An explosive replica of a mine used as a puzzle element. You know, derived these from the asset collection that appears in the simulation. Not in originally intended to use. What do, you, what do you mean? This wasn't originally intended to have an explosive in the. Oh, jeez. So, whoa, fuck. Sorry, buddy. Jeez, didn't mean to get in your way there. Um, yeah, I mean, those those always felt a little bit out of place, I think, in TP1, like kabooms. The jammer, yeah, and the weirdo shock mines or whatever, right? Narrow <clears throat> thinking, yada yada yada. Tromino arrangers. Founder, solved dozens of these. Why don't you give it a try? I just solved three of them in the initiation or whatever the fuck it was, right? I mean, these are big suckers. Did we ever do, like, large ones like this in the in TP1? Eh, fuck. Why not? Spatial reasoning and all that, right? Let's kind of work our way through it. Block. No. Is that. Is that. Sure, we'll do that. Oh, that was actually a bad choice. Let's do that. Um, no, that's probably not it either. Hmm. 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 What are these? J pieces? Z pieces? No, Z pieces. I hate the Z pieces. The Z pieces are the worst. Um. Dumbass Z pieces. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Ah. are pretty easy to slot in wherever, right? Mm, there we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I think. Oh! Wait, what the? Well, I guess we just still have enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Do, 
do 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 Giving me like the the other the other L pieces. I don't like that. Get some variety here. I need those stacked up like that. There we go. Okay. Do 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 do. Ah, fuck. I wanted to come back to this later. All right, it's fine. Let's try. Let's try some of the easier ones, huh? Yeah. See, look at this. No problem. Oh no, it's not gonna work, huh? Hey, there we go. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh no, it's a five by eight. It's a five by eight. Look out! Um, oh, hey, there's a different piece. Okay. Okay, yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, we start getting the fucking O pieces. I think that's where we're gonna fall down. Like, they're too simple. They're too simple to be placed, like, in a reasonable way for my dumbass mind brain. Oh, it's pretty close for a try there, huh? Ah, look at that! Bastard. Oh, hey, there we go, we did. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's a reason for this right now. It's just a museum of the, the old shit from TP1 that you could try to do, I guess. Felt like we did enough walking around, we deserved a little puzzle break, you know? Hmm, I presume you get something by doing them all. Oh. Uh, fuck. I had a good thing going there. Ah, nuts! That's a gun, we got the wrong shapes. Long shapes going on there. You know what? Let's move all this down. Ah, curses. They're the wrong shapes. Anyway, that might work. Uh... Ah! Nope. Ah. Hey, there we go. Got it. <laughs> all right all right let's give one more spin at this one then we'll probably go walk around a bit more start filling stuff in you know it's not i'm not really following any sort of pattern here it's just kind of like fill in a bunch and then try to work out the rest as you go oh i see it's this fucking one z piece here that's gonna fuck me over as it always does. Yeah, look at that. Ah. Okay. Hey, there we go. Alright, now we're talking. Ah, oh, but now all we got is eyepieces. Man, I can never get these normal Tetris, but now here they're f***ing me over. Nope. Okay. Nope. Uh, using too many of the L pieces elsewhere here. Oh. Nuts. A lot of these eye pieces around here. Mm 
single blocks going on there. That's no good. Yeah, that's split up too much. Oh, that's pretty close. Not close enough, though. Close don't count! Close is only for horseshoes and hand grenades. Not for, uh, little Tetris puzzles. Oh, oh, yeah, that's caught me looking there. an eyepiece you fucks ah look at that we got too many old pieces in the center that's no good that ain't no good all right now ah, these two being side by sides these there is probably no good Give me any of the reverse of these. Oh, you shitters. Oh, okay. That works. Uh, doesn't. Ah, we got too many of these left over. Ah, nuts. an L piece now. You little shitters, huh? Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Make this work. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. Never mind. Okay, that looks good. That looks better. Ah! Ah, yeah! There we go! Bam! First fucking try. What do we get? That's all of them. Gimme. Ah, oh, nothing. They didn't give me shit. Ah, oh, I guess it's just an exercise for the man, for the for the for the good of it, right? You know, exercise for the mind. All right, that was fun. <clears throat> no, no chivo pops for that even. Even that's yeah, that's kind of stupid, huh? To look at fans and lasers and more fans and more switches and whoa, whoa boy I had to pop something in there real quick okay oh shish mish me love all right sure ancient virus is threatens the entire human species been released from the melting arctic permafrost society's collapsing <laughs> 
select your character class. Um, politician, witch, preacher, or scientist? Well, I want to actually do some good for the world, so scientist, please. That's where you work for has collapsed. So you're not yet sick. Most businesses are closed. Rations are really. If you cannot find food, you're failing to starve to death. To death. You will survive until this plague is defeated. What will you do? Um, forage, I guess. Finds nettles and overripe berries down by the canal. Make a meager salad. Your family's hunger increased a little. Blah blah. blah. Reliable but inefficient. Now hungry. Global population is now five billion. That's a few billion too many. It sounds like. Uh, is everyone else in the city in the last remaining research laboratories are can desperately blah blah blah. The scientists cannot find a cure in time. Humanity is doomed. Do you know what to do? Um, do I know what to do? I guess I do, right? Uh, I think it's too early to go for a break. Let's do some research. Not glamorous, and science research because it's repetitive. Blah 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 blah. <clears throat> You know, you mean to the virus and continues to ravage the rest of the town and blah 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 blah. Most remaining food has been stockpiled by the billionaires in their underground bunkers. Gee, fucking. Wow, art imitates life, doesn't it? Steal that shit. Steal some food from an apartment that's abandoned or currently unoccupied. Family's hunger decreased. Stealing is high risk, high reward. And now, well fed, global population of 3 billion. The search for the cure. You can do it. You can save the world with the power of science. Hell yeah. More research, please. <clears throat> Not glamorous, blah 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 blah. 67%, global population now down to 2 billion. Okay. <clears throat> Things were bad enough, human population doing those insect population, blah 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 blah. Like locusts has decimated the town's unripened crops. This town's chance. Insects themselves are nutritious and plentiful. I mean, like it feels like a pretty obvious cue to eat the fucking locusts, right? The nutritious paste. Mildly nutty flavor. I mean, I probably wouldn't eat locusts. I'm not a big fan of the whole bug-eating thing, but hey, whatever. Uh, cure is close, but so is the tipping point in this pandemic. Race against time. Go for that breakthrough, baby! This isn't one of them. Don't! Aw, oh, we fucking lost. Everyone you ever loved has died. Game fucking over. Oh, man. Fail scenario by most participants. I don't want to try again. Well, we, I think we we made it like two thirds through. That seems pretty good. What else we got? Comparative analysis. Happiness one and happiness two. You know what? We'll read that later. That's fine. We don't need to know the secret to happiness just yet. What's this one here? Whoa, that looked like a lot of text on that. Infinite growth. What growth? Okay, I'm interested. What growth? Infinite growth on a finite planet thing is driving me up a wall. Jeez, I'm I'm into whoever's writing this. Um, problem today is an infinite growth, the increasing lack of real material growth that benefits people. In the state of the roads? Huh. Our bridges? Ah! Our hospitals? Ah! You know, it's the lack of affordable ho Oh, man. Okay. Phew. I wasn't expecting, like, a treatise in reality here. Oh uh, boy, I don't I don't want to read infinite growth. That's gonna depress the hell out of me. I think so. You know what? Let's go walk around <laughs> uh, Let's go walk around See the sights Maybe go join the expedition We did the puzzles right actually we were gonna talk to um Eustachius? Eustachius? Uh, Cornelius' brother. Is he around here somewhere? Yeah, he's down here. To the left, I think. Is that... No, it was old Rand. I don't know if I want to talk to Rand right now. Shmilev is doing a thing. What else we got here? Oh, no, this is just the same three things. Sorry, sorry. Double back on myself. Alright, fine. Let's talk to Rand. Oh, just run the program on the center terminal over there, would you? I already did. I, uh... I... I lost, quote-unquote. Wait, you're not my assistant. Yeah, no Who shit. Well, 1K. I mean, I haven't called myself 1K. They call me 1K. Of course. You're the new build. Uh -huh. Number 1,000. Yeah, that's what 1K stands for. Been treating you like royalty. Not really. This city's so obsessed with the numbers, they forget what really matters. 
Uh, what do you want? I just fucking just want to have a friendly I'm chat here, buddy. Scholars. Okay. We're on simulations to better understand the processes which define us. All right. You probably wouldn't understand. Oh boy, I'm tell I'm gonna like this guy. Yeah, I might if you answer some questions. Oh, well. I'd be happy to. Oh wow, yeah, wow, what a fucking tonal change that was. I was what do you make of recent events? Troubling, but tantalizing. Okay. We have no idea Very what ambivalent. motives lie behind this strange apparition. Uh -huh. But whatever the case, I'm sure we'll do the right thing. It's a very bold assumption. Um, what do you think of me? Clearly you You're think I'm an idiot. A pawn in a political game over the future growth of this city. Uh, soon to be well, nothing to nothing me, soon to be about it. Not you have good character. Uh-huh. Matter I am actively pondering. <laughs> kind of backhand little shit ass compliment was that? Uh what are your ambitions? The secret of how to lead a good life is encoded somewhere within us. Uh-huh. My ambition is simple, to find it and share it. I don't like Rand. Uh, hold on. Could you help me by going to that terminal in the middle there and running the program? I already did. Yeah, I already did. There we go. Well, that was your first taste of the simulation. You must have questions. The not really. <laughs> no, okay. All right, fuck you, Rand. You must have questions. I do, actually. Okay. Your experience of the program. Kind of basic. How did it feel? Um, where's the, it was basic selection here. Um, I guess it's fascinating in a way, sure. Isn't it's... it? It may not immediately seem like it, but all the answers we could ever need are encoded into every fragment of the archive. Uh-huh. The interesting thing about this particular program is that no matter what choices you make, an ideal outcome seems to be impossible. Okay. It seems to demand sacrifice. All right. Did you have the same experience? Not. <laughs> no, I got a perfect score and saved everyone. Oh, man. Um. I mean, I couldn't... I didn't save anyone, technically. But I couldn't save everyone. Who did you save? No one, actually. I think everyone died, I'll be honest. As I expected. Boy, fuck you, man! Would say this artifact existed uh, simply to condemn us with the impossibility man. of ethical choice. No matter uh -huh. what moral laws we follow, people suffer and die, so what's the point? But that cannot be correct. Okay. We must be missing something. What is it trying to tell us? Oh no, why are there so many choices here? Ah, uh, yeah, where's the eat shit rand button here? Is there one? Let me see. Uh, reality is meaningless, you should do whatever you please. No. Reality demands we respect individual rights. Mm, kinda. Reality demands sacrifice for the greater good. Sort of, I guess. Reality demands virtue. Not especially. Reality demands love and compassion regardless of the cost. Eh, kinda. It can't be reduced to a simple set of rules. I actually agree with that one. It's a point <coughs> of view, and I can't tell you how much I disagree with you. Well, then don't. The Fuck you. The complexity of the simulation, indeed of life itself, puts most people off from even trying to understand it. Okay, so... But look a little closer. Whoa, jeez! <laughs> Excuse you me, we're having a conversation here. The truth ...of what is good and evil. Okay. Biological hominids had dreams manifested by their subconscious, which they tried to interpret, and even to navigate with lucidity. All right. We have the simulation. Okay. If we can realize our potential to understand it, we can realize our potential as a species. Thank you for bringing this additional data. Yeah. I must return to my research. Yeah. I wish you well on your inwards journey. Thanks, I guess. Yeah, wow, you got important shit to do, like standing there and looking off into the middle distance. Man, fuck Rand. I don't like him. Pompous asshole. All right, uh... Now, we wanted to talk to... What? Okay, sorry, buddy, I'm gonna ask you. Where's your brother again? Oh, I went to a different spot. Um. Oh, under construction. Oh, oh shit. What we got over here? Oh, 
<gasps> Actual puzzle? Alright, here we go. Uh, now we're talking. Actually, can I, um... Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do it like this. Because then that should cut in. Oh, it's just a little bit too close there. There we go. Oh, no, it didn't open that one. Yeah, that's fine. Um... See. Oh, I see, yeah. Okay. Okay. Then we can get that one. Hey, look at that. We did it. We got the. Oh, come on. Where's the ball? There it is. <laughs> I was waiting for some condescending ass Elohim to to get piped in here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I do like that. Okay, we did a puzzle. All right, and where's this Eustachioid? Eustachius? I'm gonna talk to him, then we'll head out. Not you, apparently. Rand's just standing like. Thumb up his ass. <clears throat> Alright, sorry, buddy. Where's your brother? He said to the left. Oh, wait, we've got a thing, right? Where's our thing? Where's our log? Talk to Cornelius. Uh, blah, 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 blah. No, you, you, you Stathius. You Stathius. Yeah, these days he's retired. Rand is in charge of the archives because you can find him in the. Oh, he's probably talking about where to find Rand, not, not, to find, not where to find Eustathius. That's unfortunate. Well, we already talked to Rand. We think he's a shit. Um, so we're good here. Interesting museum. Uh, Alright, where else we got? Should we go join the expedition? I feel like we can come back here almost any time, right? Welcome to New Jerusalem. Oh, thank you, Furlan. It's very kind of you. One of three people who have talked to us. Um... Take a quick jog around, I guess, before we go. Eh? Archaeological gardens, okay. Oh, what sort of wisdom is this gonna impart? Perfection's unchanging? No, fuck that. That's no good. This is a microscope. Okay, yeah. And, uh... Is this a spork? Are they describing a spork here? Oh no, it's actually just a normal fork. Would have been better as a spork. Just clean works of strands, strategia, blah 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 blah. Uh huh. Advanced electrical tool for this purpose. I mean, yes. That is true. Whenever you brush your teeth, you're really just polishing bone, right? It's kind of weird if you think about it a little bit. Don't think about it too hard, though. Oh, it's the receiver. A projectile weapon, blah, 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 blah. Ancient humans kills hundreds of times the population in New Jerusalem per year. Oh, boy, if ain't that the truth. Jigsaw puzzle. Eh, I mean, they got most of it, right? All right, where the fuck is our wayfinder to go join the expedition? I think we're done having a jog. Oh, no, never mind. There's somebody to talk to over here. Who are you? Talk to Purple. 998. Purple. They were run out of names, yeah, huh? It's you. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Are you sure so you're purple and not yellow? I saw you in the Fucking. <laughs> Bruh. You checked out all this ancient stuff? I'm working on it. I mean, yeah, that's why I'm here, kinda. Me too. Oh, this is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's totally tubular. Tell me about yourself. I'm almost as new as you are. I mean, not quite, but... Yeah, I so see that. I've only been around for a year or so. I'm still trying to get the hang of this. Pretty cool, though, right? Hey. I mean, existence? Sure. 
Holy nor. Okay, all right. Not sure I used that right. You sort of did, actually, yeah. What do you think about the goal? I'm sure the founder knew what she was doing. But? I mean, our ancestors did sort of mess up, right? Here in a butt so here. We should probably take it easy with the expanding of stuff. Plus, did you see that trippy sky projection thing? No, I was standing right there, but I must <laughs> have missed it. That stuff, man. <laughs> Seems safer to stay in the city. Okay. Well, you're a coward then, huh? Sure I do. When I first left the birthing lab, I was so overwhelmed that I hid in my quarters for three weeks straight. Okay. If I'm being honest, that's sort of where I want to be right now. Well, why the fuck aren't you there then? Like, what are you doing out here? Tell me about the human artifacts, Pretty I guess. Neat, huh? My favorite is that thing called a toilet. Our ancestors had to use it like uh, three times a day to do a memory dump. Sure. They, didn't, they freaking exploded. I mean, you got some of the details wrong, deal but sort of anxiety all the time. Bummer, huh? <laughs> okay. I mean, what do, you, what do you think Prometheus is? Honestly, based on everything I know of ancient human culture, I think he's a ghost. I, I. Uh, <laughs> sure, you could be right. Oh. I was hoping you'd say I'm wrong. <laughs> Ghosts are creepy, dude. It's, it, you, but your method of speech is very, uh... feel like we've met you before, Purple. Yeah, dude. I thought this voice pack would give me a bit of confidence. Help me stand out, you know? Oh, surely helps you with that. I'm not sure it's working. What's the dude? Dude is an old human word that means an excellent person. Okay, I like yeah. to use it because I think we should all be excellent to each other. All right, okay, all right, you know, all right, purple, you're all right. You're all right, man. Right. Before you go, dude, uh, maybe you can help me. Uh. I'm not sure, I should keep this voice back. What do you think? You're one K. Uh huh. You're special. It, mm. I'm happy to go with whatever you recommend. <laughs> Boy, think for your fucking self. Um, <laughs> I could actually say that. I mean, I don't know, with the rest of the voices we've heard so far, yeah, fucking just stick with it. Go with it, man. Alright! Excellent. Thanks, dude. Uh-huh. Okay, sure. Any... Any time, I guess. Phew. Uh, ball or soccer, blah, 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 uh huh Various coins and shit. Yep. Yeah. Alright. It's ancient human whatever's alright. <laughs> right. Right, a massager, huh? Yep. That's what that is. Sure. That's sure what that is. Oh, okay. And then there's the toilet. Got it. Hmm. <laughs> uh huh. Bring in pipes. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Yep. Empanada. Oh, cool. You got a good name. Rat. All right. Less good name. Oh, one more person to talk to over here, huh? Oh, look at Oh, adorable. Are you scared of the cat dosicles? Dosicles, I'm sure. It's you. Yeah. Number 1000. Yeah, 1K for Today short, I guess. Today, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I turned off all the streams. Uh-huh. Founder bless you, I guess. <laughs> Very fucking convincing. Are you all right, man? Not really, no. Okay, but well, you're honest. I don't want to burden you with my problems on your special day. Hey, what's up? You're as new to this world as it gets, 1K. Yeah, and? What do you think might give you a sense of meaning? Fucking jeez, wow. Life is actually worth living. Hot damn, that is, uh... That's a hell of a question. Um... What was the question? <laughs> What gives your life meaning or something, right? I don't, I don't fucking. Uh, 
I, oh man, a combination of factors, man. That's probably correct. Okay. But I've tried a lot of different approaches, <clears throat> and there's always been something missing. Okay. Love one K. Okay. okay. It's our only point of access to the divine. I mean, if you say so. Our only way of transcending ourselves without losing what makes us unique. I'm absolutely certain. Okay, then why the but, fuck did you ask me? You're so goddamn certain. But the right person for me hasn't been born yet. None of the people in this city are who I'm looking for, and if we really stop making new citizens, I'll be alone forever. Uh. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, this guy is uh really hitting the hard points here, huh? There's one specific person. Gloves that important. Unless something you, something you find out there, something you build in the person. There to find love. We all do. Oh boy. Uh, I mean, start with yourself, man. Start with yourself. That is the kind of self-important, smug nonsense our ancestors. Okay. Well, good talk, Dosicles. Glad I could help. Self-improvement, self-empowerment, self, self, self. That's the attitude that cost them the world. Uh, it's well, no, but okay, it sure. It might be a start, but it's not enough. Look, actual human talking here, uh, self-improvement did not end this world. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking downer. Oh, God, my human eyeballs, though. Oh, what's up? Mmm. Ugh, alright. Oh, is the water deep enough out here? Can I go for a swim? <gasps> no. no, it's still only shin deep. <clears throat> oh, oh, it's getting deeper. I think. Hard to tell. Close to quitting time here, because my eyes are starting to really give me some problems. Now we got some time yet. Okay. <sighs> Good gravy. Sorry about this, folks. My goodness. Eyelash in there or something? Seems curious that the un the water is uniform of uniform depth here. Oh, wish I could just crouch and go look over there for a bit. Oh, well. See all this space that you can just run around in, and there's n like no points of interest. No little secrety secrets. I imagine that's gonna. I hope that changes. I could hate to have all this open space and nothing to do in it. Seems a little wasteful. I like this little island out here. Like, this would be a perfect, perfect spot for a secrety secret. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. It's just flavor. Flavor environment. I mean, it looks pretty. As most of this does, right? But nothing to do out here. Did we read this one already? What does this one say? Oh yeah, perfection unchanging. Nope. False. False on its face, right there. And that shit's closed. Yeah, 
Just a bunch of empty space. All right, I guess it's time to head out on that that old expedition <clears throat> with Byron and company. Byron and uh, Hermanubis and uh, Alcatraz. And I think we were taking somebody else with, with us, right? Melville? Was it Melville? I think it was Melville. All right. Let's go do the progress, I guess. All right, we signed his petition for a referendum or whatever. This is coming with us, right? What can I do for you, 1K? Uh, well, what's up? What are we, what are we doing? How'd you? Wait, you're involved in politics? I guess he kind of is. He's doing a lot of talking about doing shit, but not actually doing shit. <clears throat> it was a time of great uncertainty. It was the best the of times. It was the worst us, of times. And our society was at a crossroads. Uh huh. History teaches us that during such times. Terrible passions may seize the people. Madness, anger, revolution, civil war. Okay. Our fragile city could not afford such things. That is why the founder gave us the goal. A path to equilibrium. Not only for the planet, but for ourselves. Uh -huh. I merely picked up where she left off. Sure, and thousand seems like a pretty round-ass number to me. Um, what do you think about Byron? He is one of the first <clears throat> companions. I mean, yeah, what is he, like number seven or something? He's done more for our city than you or I ever will. I simply wish he could be more reasonable. Uh-huh. Right. You mean he wish you wish he was uh, a bit more kiss-ass towards you? Reading between the lines there. What, what, what's your vision of the future? I believe we can exist quietly, happily. Without imposing ourselves on this world, uh -huh. finding meaning within ourselves okay. and in the natural miracles that surround us. Okay, I mean, that's a pretty generic answer, but yeah, all right, gotta go. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Um, is there a. Oh, yeah, Jeremy. Jeremy, what's up? Hello, 1K. Uh, hello. This expedition is taking a lot of our resources. Uh-huh. I'm really not sure it's a good idea. Okay. But well, didn't ask your opinion, done, but... So I have a lot of work to get on with. That's why I'm standing around and being an interactable for you. What the hell are you? I'm the mayor's chief aide. I see. What do you do around here? What do you aid? All the things no one else wants to do. Wow. Very... Public citizenry, implementing new policies, okay. recording decisions. All right. Fielding questions people could answer elsewhere. You get the feeling he doesn't want to talk to us. Uh, what do you make of recent events? Our goal as custodians of New Jerusalem is survival and stability. Uh huh. Our ancestors proved human civilization is precarious. Yeah. This apparition in the sky, and now your expedition to its supposed source, these are more precarious than stable. I don't like it. Are you responsible for the whole perfection is not changing shit? If you are, maybe you do a robo punch in your robo face. Uh, what do you think of me? You represent the completion of the goal. Okay. I'm proud of what we've achieved and the restraint we show in not pushing ourselves further. Mm, boy. It's <laughs> the fuck do you want? For our people to be happy with what we have. Uh huh. I see. Some of us may have an adventurous <laughs> spirit. But that can never be sated. What matters to me is having my loved ones around me, safe and secure. Okay. I'll see you then, I guess. Lightning. 
Okay, I think it's time to go on an extra. Oh shit, we got a fucking quadcopter? Oh man, if I knew we were setting out on that, I would have come up here a long time ago. So, what's the verdict? Are we going? Y yes? Hey, <laughs> are we going? Pause for fucking the player to make a choice. By the way, there's only one choice. I guess Byron was pretty convincing, hmm? Well, we'll see. I just wonder how much of the city is gonna fall apart while I'm gone. It's, I mean... Actually, we haven't been formally introduced. Yeah, but I know you're... I'm Melvin. Yeah, I know. New Jerusalem's only decent engine. Oh, okay, a bit of a chip Same on your robo-shoulder, huh? Oh, wow, thanks. How very fucking noble of you. <laughs> we could be an absolute shit. No, let's not do that. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. <laughs> now let's get this show on the road. Mm. You ready to go? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm ready to go. Let's go. Here we go. Hold on to your hats. Don't have a hat. We really need to update those language libraries. Ah, oh, come on. It's folksy on, and fun. We have a chance to make a real difference here. Do it's we, not just about what we find on that island. It's about who we want to be as a people, as a civilization. To remind ourselves that we used to be wanderers, explorers. We used to yearn for distant shores and dream of building new cities. Let's see if we can rekindle that flame. All right, geez, Byron, you don't need to go for the hard sell. We're already here. So I would like to ask you to switch to sleep mode to conserve power until we arrive at the island. Oh, no. Nighty night. No, but sleep mode means Elohim is going to fucking talk to us, though. I don't want to do that. Can't we just wake up and I'm there? You have chosen a dangerous path. Uh-huh. A path that will demand sacrifice. But that, my child, oh, boy. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, are we there? Wakey, wakey, robot people. Say goodbye to Elohim. Good. And say hello to gladly. Also gladly. Status report, please. We had some headwinds over the ocean, so fuel consumption turned out a bit higher than expected, but we should be okay. <laughs> oh, no. Do you still have that on some now. sort of macro? Think about the location of the largest of the artificial... I feel like that would take a long time to type oh, out by hand. Every time. <laughs> it should be coming into view just about... <laughs> Fucking bullshit in the beginning were the words. It's Fuck the words, man. Oh, sick. Oh shit, it's a fucking, um... Damn, what, what were they called in Stargate? The little pyramid ships. Fuck. I just watched Stargate not that long ago. I should know what that's called. I don't remember. It really is incredible. Oh. oh, that looks familiar down there. Remember to turn on streaming, everyone. Right. How did I do that? I mentioned that I hate flying. If our creators had intended us to fly, they'd have given us jetpacks. Hey, that's a good idea. And touchdown. Woo! Six zero, our lead. I mean. <laughs> that was just all, all right, the prologue everybody. stuff. I'm sure you're all just as excited as I am, but let's at least have some semblance of order. Uh huh. Uh, Yakut, I want a map of the island and a molecular analysis of. Well. Wow. Melville. Very specific. Tell me what the giant pyramid does. The rest of us will start exploring. Shouldn't the expedition leader stay at the VTOL? Why do you hate fun, Al? I don't hate fun. I'm just mildly suspicious of it. Yeah, it's not a bad Excellent. idea. Then we can all go. Not... Okay. Explore the area, huh? There's a little bit to look at here. Actually, what I was gonna do, I was gonna just just for a laugh, I was gonna go jump off the fucking platform while I was saying like, yeah, let's have some order or whatever. Transport system, no power though. I'm not making any promises, but I might be able to fix the transport system. Oh come on! They don't even let you enjoy the the trip, huh? It's just fucking hard cut to reload town, huh? Damn. 
Oh. Am I gonna get reprimanded for having fun? No. Oh, we just kind of reset the... <laughs> boo. Fucking boo. Alright, we got something on the compass there up top. Or that's telling me to investimact something or other, I'm sure. Oh, careful, watch that first step. All right, is it gonna let me just kind of take a little... This underground structure yeah, there we go. ...be part of some kind of transport system. No power, though. I'm not making oh, any careful. promises, but I might be able to fix the transport system. Yeah. Oh, oh, can't go down there. Oh, no. I, I suppose I should let them say their piece before I start doing this, because otherwise we're gonna hear that over and over, and I'm gonna get annoyed. Ah, balls. Can't have any fun. Promised puzzles. This underground structure seems to be part of some kind of transport system. No power, though. I'm not making any promises, but I might, might be able to, to fix, fix it. Yada yada yada. However, I don't <clears> like <throat> just randomly poking at things. That's how you get electrocuted. So please check the surrounding structures to see if you can find anything that might help me make sense of this stuff. Well, what if I want to climb up the random cliffs? Would be great. Find schematics. I mean, we could do that. point up there, huh? <laughs> oh, we totally scale that light outcropping there. Okay. Sure. Hey, 1K, check out these coordinates. Uh, which? Sure, I mean, I'll get on get right on that, but I'm gonna look at this first, all right? <clears throat> okay. Pretty neat, I guess. Climb up here. Can't have any fun. Skyrim the shit out of some of these buildings, come on. I can't believe they haven't given me like a proper name though. One K. Seems kind of silly. Okay, yeah, we checked out the little temple thing. It wasn't really much besides a good view. structures older have a look around 1k yeah i was gonna do that anyways fucking ugh. <clears throat> this looks kind of familiar though oh hey a bunch of modern stuff in it too huh seems a little out of place doesn't it yeah, generator to it some sort of experiment here. Right, 
yeah, I guess they were, huh? Yeah, I'll just stick my hand on this weird glowing thing. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, what do we got? Oh, that's a lot of reading. Uh, metaphysical stuff, philosophy, etc. Okay, Some schematics for you, I guess. Jerusalem, although some parts aren't loading correctly, and it crashed. Hold on, there we go. Okay, you know what? I'll hack together a solution for the transport system. That sounds safe. Isn't Melville, the one kind of crabbing about not touching stuff because you don't want to get shocked. Just saying, oh yeah, I'll just tack some together. And whatever. Oh, there we go. Golden gates. I wonder what's behind those. Has to be something special, right? You know what would be special? An explanation. Yeah, I mean I'm with you on that one. Okay, alright, alright, I see. I see. So this is um It's like some TP history right here, right? So there's there's TP one, right? We're, we're talking to Milton, and this watchfly of Elohim there and whatever, and we woke up and we directed everybody else and <clears throat> building New Jerusalem and whatever, and oh hey look there's the city under a glass dome, etc. etc. Yeah, okay. I'm sure that'll be important later. and eventually those gates will open. Okay, well, about as much looking around as I want to do. This game's kind of suffering from the bit of so much open space, but nothing really interesting to look at. Uh, okay, well, there's Prometheus on its way to... to Read us, I guess. <clears throat> or to just spawn a tower out of nothing. I'm gonna look at that. Am I in sleep mode, or did that thing just materialize out of thin air? Melville, I want an analysis of that particle cloud. On it. Anyone got a butterfly in it? Yeah, you know, kept a spare one in my other pants, sorry. I don't want to return to the station. I wonder if I want to try to... Get my robot body up there somehow. Maybe hike my butt up there? It seemed like the geometry wanted to let me get up on that ledge. Look here it might be okay if we had a box or something. All right, maybe we just go back to the station. Advance the plot and maybe they'll tell us that, oh, you can go wander around and do things now. Go have fun. There's this other marker on my compass there, or something. Oh. It disappeared. Oh, it's, oh, it's the transport thing. It's down below. 
I don't know if I want to get in this thing if you just hack something together. Alright. Whatever. I'm connecting the transport system to our interface. Hold on. Holding. Oh, alright. This is the hub. And now we got all our things here. Oh, there we go. Some actual puzzles. Uh, well, I guess that's the only place we can go, right? Let's go. Hell yeah. Where is the capsule taking 1K? To that enclosed area in the eastern lowlands. I put all the inf information we have on the map screen. Check out your interface. I'd love to, but it's we'll uh, up with you soon, 1K. loading in everything. <laughs> That's a unique way to, to do a loading screen, I suppose. Well, alright, we're here. Oh, cool. Now I've been granted the uh, the permission to explore the area. I wonder what it's for. Who knows? Who knows? You know what? It's probably something we'll oh, got myself caught right in there. Good job. Uh, might be something we start exploring next time, huh? We're here, we did the prologue, we talked to some folks, we enjoyed talking to some folks more than others. Now we're in the first actual puzzle area, yeah? Let's see what we got here first. Alright, standard... Standard setup of... Oh, hey, look at that. Is that a puzzle? Hell yeah, it's a puzzle. Well, who cares? Who cares if... Find out. Why, like, why would there be okay, a puzzle? I have a reoccurring nightmare just like this. I guess, uh, Yakut or Yakut or whatever is not a fan of puzzles. Let's see what we got. You have no tokens here. Not alone your quest for life. I don't inspect them. Free the hidden... Free the fire hidden in this labyrinth. Okay. Got some secrety secret stuff like going on there. Why would I want to circumvent this? So I want to solve them. Back door. I want to solve. I guess the mythological Prometheus was kind of a trickster, so that tracks. No, I see. Okay. Yeah, I guess this is probably what we were supposed to learn by looking at that table with the schematics. Yeah. If you use the other two colors, you can make the third color. As this one, apparently you need two inputs. You cannot just do a one input. We did. I didn't intend to do the first puzzle. <laughs> but I, we just kind of fell into it, and you know what? We're here. Okay. All right. Oh, Let's headed see. for the lake. Headed for the lake, huh? Well, that's nice. That's good. Good for good for the particle clouds. Going to the lake. Gonna enjoy a nice little vacation. Lakeside. I think the cloud's been absorbed by some sort of device. Fascinating. Nova. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm on it. Weird stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was number one, huh? Didn't even see the number there. And, uh, okay. No, if I start doing these, I'm going to be here for a while yet. We may as well just stop there. <laughs> stop there before I get too involved, and then it's like an hour later, and I'm super tired. But, uh, all right. That's a good old fucking intro to TP2 there. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe a little bit more, uh open explory than I was perhaps expecting um, but now that we're actual to actual puzzly puzzles I'm feeling a bit better about it so that's good that's good that's good um, but that'll do it for tonight next stream will be tomorrow 7 30 p.m. CST it'll be Thursday so shmup book club uh, first SBC of 2024 we'll have a new monthly for month of January uh, Karis is still going for the quarterly and then we'll have a new quarterly starting as well uh, for January through March um, that'll be known tomorrow as well. Um, then Friday, Saturday, we're off, and Sunday, 7pm CST, it'll be long play. Oh, 
pick up Spelunky 2, I think, at least one more time, or the randomizer. It's pretty fun. And then next Monday, 7 p.m. CST, we'll be back here with Talos Principle 2. Do some more puzzles. Do some actual, actual puzzles. Should be fun. Looking forward to it. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.